join us? Do you want to join us? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hello, Grace. Hello, Grace. How are you? How are you? Do you want to join us? Do you want to join us? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? How are you? Do you want to join us? Do you want to join us? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hello, kids. Hello, kids. How are you? How are you? Do you want to join us? Do you want to join us? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Come along and join us. Come along and join us. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, little foxes, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we'll be talking about the power of prayer and ways we can talk to God. But before we hear our story, we're going to hear a song from Saddleback Kids. It's called The Lord's Prayer. Get on your feet and dance along with them. We'll see you soon. And if you remember from some of the episodes, I helped Stephanie and Mia lead some of the lessons. And today we're going to talk about me. And so I'm so excited to introduce you to some of the things that I like and some of the hobbies that I have. Um, in order to do that, I have a little show and tell bag that has my name on it. And I decorate it with some bubbles and some stars. And so to get started, we're going to start with our first letter, which is G. And if I look in my bag, G is for what in the world? Anybody guess what this means? G is for gardening. I have some seed packets here and I love to garden. I have a garden in my backyard and I love to plant uh, flowers and vegetables and I think that's super fun. All right, the next letter I have in my name is R and R is for, anybody guess what this is? Running, I love to run and I love to uh, participate in a bunch of different races and I love to run outside and I feel like that's super fun. And the next letter is 
A. And A is pretty fun. A is for a hobby that I have. Anybody guess? A is for art. I love to paint and I love doing a bunch of different crafts. And that is what A stands for. Okay, guys, our next letter is C. And I have something way down here. Let's see what we have. Oh, a cross. C is for cross, Christ, and church. I love all of those things. And I love going to Fox Point Lutheran Church. And I love teaching all you guys about the love of Jesus and God. All right, and the last letter we have is E. And E, we have a special thing over here. E is for, anybody guess? E is for the earth. I love the earth and I live here. And I live right here. And I'm pretty sure you guys do too. And I love going outside and exploring and travel. So that's why I picked uh, earth for E. Awesome, thank you so much guys. This was super fun to share a couple things about me. And uh, now it is time for our story. So buckle in and here we go. Long ago, there was a woman named Hannah. Hannah had wanted a son for many, many years and was very sad that she did not have one. I have wanted a son for so long and I'm so sad I don't have one. I can barely eat or sleep without a son and just hope that I'll be able to have one soon. But Hannah did not lose hope for having a son. In fact, she prayed to God every night that he would give her a son. Dear God, please help me have a son. I have wanted a son to love for so long and promise that I, if I'm able to have a son that I will give him to you. Thanks for listening, God. Amen. Hannah knew that God was very powerful and would help her if she prayed for a son. She also knew that God does not always give us everything we pray for, but she knew that he was always listening. Suddenly, it was a miracle. Pretty soon, Hannah had a son and decided to name him Samuel. She also remembered her promise and raised Samuel with God in his life. Samuel would soon become an important part of God's plan. Hannah thanked God for providing her with the son she always wanted. Dear God, thank you for giving me Samuel. I will raise him in faith and give him to you for your plan. I will always keep my promise to you. Amen. When Hannah prayed, God heard her and helped her. It is important to pray to God for things that we want, but also things that we are thankful for. He is always listening. Hello again, little foxes. It is now time for our activity. If you want to scroll below the video, you're gonna find a lovely PDF of this printout, and we are gonna connect the dots and see what in the world this picture makes. So if you want to um, have a parent or maybe someone a little bit older than you that knows how to count to 17, that might be helpful for this craft because we start at one and we end at 17, and that's a lot of numbers. So, you know, we might need a little bit of help there. but. To get started, I'm going to take my skinny black marker and we are obviously going to start at number one and we're going to follow along with the dots and count up until we get to 17. All right, we have completed our picture and what do you know? It is praying hands. So now comes the fun part and we can color in however we want to. So I'm gonna make, uh, he is gonna have purple sleeves and mm, pink nails. Yeah, all right, you guys color it in and I'll come back with you in just a little bit. We have finished our coloring craft hands and I really loved this one. It was super fun to connect the dots and make our praying hands. I think it looks pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Hi little foxes and welcome back to another craft time. Today we have a very special craft. Freddie, are you ready for our craft? It's gonna be great. Okay, so today we're creating a prayer jar. And what you're going to need for this is a paper cup. Mine already has some decorations on it. That's okay. If you have one that's plain, you can use that too. You're going to need some markers. And then also a few pieces of paper about this size. 
and some stickers if you have them, but you don't need to use stickers if you don't want to. So the use of a prayer jar is so you can put things to pray about in them so whenever you're praying at night, you can pull it out and figure out what you wanna pray for. So the first thing you're gonna do while creating your prayer jar is you're gonna take your cup, grab some markers, whatever color you want, and you can just color some fun things on it. I'm probably gonna draw a cross and maybe some hearts, okay? So come back when you're done with your cup. All right, guys, my cup is done. I drew some hearts and crosses and I even did some little blue polka dots. I don't know if you can see that, but what do you think, Freddie? You think it looks pretty good? I think it looks good too, but I think we could do better. So I'm gonna take some of my stickers and put them on my cup. You guys can do this too if you have stickers. If not, you can just decorate again with the markers. Okay, I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so our next step is we're gonna take these little cards and we're gonna write down some things we're gonna pray for. Like, I think I'm gonna draw a picture of my family, maybe I'm gonna draw a picture of the world, of my school, and you guys can think of a ton of other ideas to put on these little cards. And you can even ask your family members if they have any ideas for what you can pray for. But yeah, so we're gonna do those and then if you could come back with all of them done, I'll show you what I did. See you soon. All right, welcome back, guys. How did you have, did you have fun making your cards, Freddie? Yeah, it was super fun to make these cards. So I'll show you guys what I did. So I drew a picture of my family. I drew a picture of my mom, my dad, my sisters, and my brother. So I'm just gonna fold that up and put it right in our prayer jar. And then I decided to draw a picture of a tree, just because I think you can always pray for nature and you can always pray for the trees. And I think it's a really good thing to pray for at night. So I'm also going to fold that one up and put it in our jar. Then I drew a picture of the world. There's so many people in the world, so many different things going on in the world. It's always just good to pray for the world. So we can fold that one up, put it in our jar. And then the next one I did was I decided to draw a picture of our church. I love our church, and I know that there's always people or things in the church that I could pray for and hope for. So that's something I always like to keep in mind when I'm praying. Then I decided to draw a pig because I love animals and I know you can always pray for the different animals in the world. If you have dogs or cats or fish or anything, you can always pray for them. So we'll fold that in, fold that up and put it in. And then finally, I drew a pencil because I know I can always pray for my school for my friends in my school, for my teachers, for all the people that work at my school. I know I can always pray for them. Right, Freddie? Yeah. Okay, and once you have all those folded up inside your cup like I do, this is where the fun begins. So you just close your eyes and pick one out, like my church. And you can say a quick prayer for your church. So let's do that together. Dear God, thank you so much for giving me my church, Fox Point. I love it so much and I hope everyone in there is keeping safe and is able to spend time with their families. Amen. All right. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. Um, you can do this and pray all the time with them. So have fun with your jar. Bye, guys. Say bye, Freddie. Bye. Bye. Hi, little foxes. Thanks for hanging with us today. I hope you had fun making your praying hands and your praying jar. Uh, we're going to take some time and pray to God. If you could fold your hands and bow your head with me. Dear God, we thank you for always being there for us. We know that when we pray, you listen and appreciate the good that you give in our lives. We hope you can continue to hear our prayers and help us through our troubles. Amen. Hi, Grace. Hey. Thank you so much, guys. This was super fun. Um, of course, if you have any questions, you can direct them to lovely Stephanie over here at stephanie at foxpointchurch.org. And thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye, little foxes. Bye.